<laughs> What's up guys, Garzies, I'm here. Um, sorry, I'm just in my school clothes. I've literally just come back from school. But finally, home after the competition. I came second in both my events, which is good. Um, for the first event, um, it was the off-road race. I won a new motor for that. And they had to send it to me by via email. Um, well, mail anyway. But um, yeah, it was for that car there, which is good. Um, and it's very, very cool. Uh, the other one uh, that I won a prize in was the um, on-road race. And I got an awesome new um, toolkit, well, toolbox. There's a load of stuff in it. It came with a electric screwdriver, which is something that I've really been needing. Sorry, I need to clean my camera. Okay, it's a little better. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, it came with a little screwdriver. Um, very cool. And um, also came with this is a lot of stuff, by the way, you wouldn't believe the, what the first person got. And it came with a little kit with um, pliers, little screwdrivers, tweezers, and some other stuff as well. So here is the motor that I'm installing. It's a Tamiya RS540 sized, um, sport bread, sport tuned um, hop up options um, 68. Um, yeah, motor. <laughs> That's a lot. Um, yeah, this thing is basically bred for racing. It has a lot of speed and torque. Torque is what I had in the first race, but I didn't have enough power to get out into that first place. So hopefully this will do the job and next month I will be able to absolutely destroy the competition. Boop, let's see this. And it's, oh, it's black. Black's actually my favorite color. Yeah, as you can tell, black's my favorite color. Look at that. Oh, that looks so nice. It's so smooth as well. Like a lot of the motors that I've had would be really rough edged and Oh, wow, look at that. Sorry, I'm just looking at some of the insides. And this motor is very light. It's very light in a couple of kilograms, actually. So that's good. That, that's really good. Um, my car is a bit too heavy at the minute. Okay, so I'm just going to go off, get the car, um, install the motor. I'll probably put a time lapse on this thing, speed up or something. And yeah, I'll just get back to you. Okay, finally finished putting in the motor. Now, black on black isn't really a good idea if you're wanting to put in screws easy. So, yeah, that kind of took a wee while. So let's just turn it on. Nice. This, bar Shut up. this battery in here doesn't have a lot of charge, so... That's why it cuts out sometimes, so I'm just going to go off, charge up the battery, and then I take it outside. Okay, so I already took the car out, because um, I wanted to make sure the setup was okay, and it wasn't. The car had too much torque, well there's no such thing as too much torque, but it had a lot of torque and not enough speed. So I put in the gear from the Tamco Raider, I think it was, yeah, the Tamco Raider. And I think I'll be using that for like, um, independent suspension rock crawling, which I'm still working on at the minute. Um, I'm not sure about this setup because um, it doesn't. It's it's underpowered. That's what I'm saying. The motor doesn't have a lot of power. It can only take ten volts or something. I'm not. I'm not sure. I'll have to find the packaging and look at it again. But it can take seven to something volts. But it's not going to be a lot. A lot of volts. So um, I've got to figure out the perfect gear setup, or I'm just going to have to go back to the old motor and because um, that that old motor was actually pretty good actually, um, and it had a lot of speed coming off of this one. Uh, off of this gear, anyway. Um, so if I'm not really liking the uh, the, 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 the pepper, so if I'm not really liking um, that new motor, I'll take it out, and if I get a new RC at some point, or I don't know, even a rock crawler, um, I might put that motor in because it has a lot of torque. Um, and it seems like it's a nine turn or something. No, not a nine turn. Um, just something with a lot of tor torque. Um, so I'm gonna work on the speed a little bit, see if I can work in the motor. And now yeah. everyone has their different ways of. Work of um, what is it? Um, wearing in the motor. Um, now what basically you do if you're new to the hobby, what you do is well, I'm not gonna tell you what I do. Basically, what you do 
is you basically get the motor ready for fast running, if, 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 for good running, if, if that makes and sense. What, and what you're basically doing is basically uh, making sure that the motor doesn't burn out, make sure um, that it doesn't wear down a lot, and making sure that it just doesn't blow out so while waiting for the battery to charge. Personally, what I do to wear in a motor, or work in a motor, or whatever it is, um, I basically put around slowly on one battery, uh, which I'll probably video, uh, will be quite boring though, so I'll throw in some music in the background. Um, and I basically just put around for one full battery, very slowly, not giving it a lot of torque, not pushing it or anything. And then what I do on the next battery pack is um, I start working in half throttle. So I put around for half throttle and um, for one full battery again then I think that should be it for me, but if I feel like the setup's not right or anything, I'll probably go back to half throttle. Well, the motor isn't working as it should do, I'll put it back to half throttle for one full battery. Or even half a battery or something like that, see if anything's changed. But if um, if it's not completely working, then what I will do is I will find like a massive space to just... Um, and I mean, I mean like a parking lot or something like that. I will find a massive space to go full throttle for a full battery, which won't be too good for the bat for the motor, but it should wear it in pretty quickly. But that's something that you shouldn't really do unless it's absolutely necessary. So for comparisons, this is 550 size motor. Um, it's quite big, it's quite heavy. Um, and the other one is 540 size motor. So I'll just go off, put them up next to each other and show you. Here is the size, size difference. You can see it's quite a bit longer. Um, it's a little bit thicker as well. But this one does produce a little bit more power. I need to clean um, my RC out at some point because that is disgusting. <laughs> now, what I also noticed when I was taking the car out was that this motor got extremely, extremely hot. So I put the heatsink on again to see if that will help it stay cool or something. Because this motor as well, this motor got kind of hot, but that, that kind of helped a bit. Um, but this motor can handle 3S LiPo, so can the ESC. Which I'm not sure this is really gonna work, but again, I'll see if um, see if my dad will let me buy an RC at some point. Guys, I gotta tell you guys honestly, I'm not liking this setup. I do kind of like it in some parts. I will maybe put the motor in for like, you know, like I said, um, if I'm doing crawling or stuff like that, but it's just not, you know, it's just not what I'm used to. I mean, you can see that, you know, the battery's running low already. I mean, the battery was so hot, well, not the battery, um, the motor was so hot, they actually burnt me a little bit, um, if it'll show up on camera. Focus. Focus. Yeah, but it burnt me there. And that ain't good. So, I'm just going to go back to the old motor, put the heatsink on it. But this time, instead of having the, um... Bring this in for a second. Instead of having the low um, gear motor, I'm going to put in the Tamco um, gear so it can go faster. Hopefully. Because <laughs> I think that's what I was missing was uh, faster gear. So I'm just going to put that in just now with the uh, other motor.